Hello and welcome to Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory's Virtual Museum. Today we are sharing a historical interpretation all about Hilbert and Bradsby's World War II war effort. Get ready to meet Kathleen Moore, a factory worker back in 1943, as she tells you all about what Hilbert and Bradsby has been making during World War II. Good afternoon. My name is Kathleen Moore, and I'm just taking a break from my shift in the factory here. We just got the most incredible news. World War II is over. Our boys just declared victory in the Pacific Theater. Hope that means I get to see my brother again soon. I started working here a couple years ago, back in 1943, and this is what I've been making. Gun stocks for the M1 carbine rifle that so many of our troops have been using. Like a lot of women, I was a little nervous about coming to work here. I'd never worked anywhere outside of the home. But our country needed us to step up and do all sorts of things we'd never done before, like run machinery and make these gun stocks. We've been making gun stocks six days a week from 1943 until now, 1945. One out of every four M1 carbine rifle was made with the gun stock made by Hilrick and Bradsby. And we're pretty proud of that. Once the gun stocks were finished being produced here in Louisville, Kentucky, they were sent up to Ohio and assembled into the full M1 rifle. Now Louisville Slugger created other things during the war effort too. During World War II, we made four million wooden baseball bats. Most of them were sent to troops overseas. You know, with timber at a premium during the war, uh, it did cause quite a shortage of baseball bats for civilians. But we'll catch up on that now that the war is finally over. I'm so excited to see my brother again. His name is John, and he's a big Yankees fan. I used to write to him twice a day back in 1941 when Joe DiMaggio had his, had his streak going. It was so nice to have something to distract us during those early days in the war. We'd all gather around the radio and, and listen in and wait for Jolton Joe to get another hit in another game. And he always did. Joe DiMaggio got a hit in 56 games in a row. You know, it's been four years since then. And nobody's even come close to breaking that record. And I don't think anybody ever will. Joe DiMaggio is one of the 500 professional baseball players who enlisted during World War II. Other players like Hank Greenberg, Pee Wee Reese, and Ted Williams put their professional careers on hold to serve their country. The commissioner had wondered about shutting the game down, but FDR said no. He wanted baseball to continue for the morale of the nation, and it really did help. With our boys coming home, it's nice to know that they can trade these gun stocks in for some good old baseball bats. In fact, that's where my next shift is, right on the bat line. Thanks for taking a break with me. Thank you so much for watching today. Please follow Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory social media accounts for any museum updates as well as any virtual museum updates. Have a great rest of your day.